In the last video, we looked at how to create a new ICTL. We completed the preliminary requirements to move the new ICTL from its initial proposed status to the analysis status. Now we'll open that ICTL back up and add or modify the rest of the data required in order to move it forward from analysis to analysis complete. To find the ICTL, we go to the products list and click on the link that says select none. That clears our selections and now we select ICTL and go down to product status and select analysis development. This displays a list of all ICTLs in our domain that are in the analysis development status. This list could be really long so if necessary you can filter by proponent. Then just click on the title of the ICTL that you want to open. Notice that the yellow checkboxes are gone in all except steps 1 and 5. These steps now have to be completed in order to move the ICTL forward from analysis to analysis complete. Since step 1 is complete, we'll move on to edit step 2. In step 2, we use the Specialty Builder tool to associate specialties to the ICTL. First, we select a personnel type. I'm going to select Enlisted. Now, this selection is important because the options to build the specialty will change depending on the personnel type that you select. For enlisted, select MOS, skill level, additional skill identifier, etc. You have to identify at least one field. You can do a search for each field if needed. For example, for MOS, you can click on the search link and do a search of MOS 11. To locate 11B infantrymen. We'll click Add and it adds 11B to our MOS field. If I were to select a different personnel type, let's say civilian, I'd have different specialty builder selections. Same with officer and warrant officer. Now we can select Save and Continue. In Step 3, add a description of the target audience for the ICTL. So I'll just add a description. And don't forget, you have Spell Check. So I think I'll replace this. OK. Save and Continue which leads us to step four. In step four, you will associate individual tasks with the ICTL. We'll do this by selecting existing individual tasks or nominating new individual tasks. We'll cover step four in the next video.